everybody. We're going to have, actually, this is session three for Rita. We're working with OCD. We'll talk about that in a, in a minute. Um, there was another one recorded. I may or may not record this. Who knows? But, you know, we're just going to have fun with it anyway and go through the whole process so you can see how all of this works with the belief code. I believe that's what we're doing right now is with belief code. So, um, Rita, how's it going? You know, from the first two sessions, do you feel any difference? Have you had any triggers? Um, you know, it's funny that when I do work on myself like this, I get triggered a lot. You know, I don't know if it's just shit coming up and like, I don't know what, what it is, but I do get triggered a lot. So, and sometimes I'm, I can, you know, handle it. And sometimes I can't, you know, so sometimes I feel really strong. And then other times I'm like, I don't know, I can't, I can't seem to grab a hold of it, you know? All right. Well, let's do the third part of this whole thing and then just sit with that energy for a while and see what develops. Okay. Right? So if you find like in like a month, you don't, or a month or two, you don't notice any difference or it's worse than ever, then uh, we can come back in and see what we can hit in a different way. Okay, perfect. You know, because yeah, it could it. be more than what we can get with just these belief systems, although we've got three of them working together. So we're getting quite a bit of it out. I would, yes. I would hope to see some kind of a result from all of that, but how it may you, take a little time. How do you test? Um, if it's if it's still like connected to the to it or if it's actually working like do you can you like do a percentage on the body like it's 90 percent um, gone it's 100 percent gone or is that not we, we could try asking some questions like that like at the end of this and just see what what we come up with right we'll just okay. ask your subconscious mind yeah um, yeah, yeah. We, yeah let's just ask a whole bunch of questions at the end and see what we get from that because that's right. all we can do is just keep you know working with the subconscious mind. So right. I think what I'll do is let me share my screen. Happen. All right. So we did the, you know, in the I'm gonna put my glasses on. In the um, the first system, we we got up like four negative programs, two limiting beliefs, a faulty core belief, faulty core identity, right, with a bunch of associations. Yep. In the second round, we had three negative programs, three limiting beliefs faulty core belief and a faulty core identity right so we got all of that um we went and did a little bit of body code for the headache because we had extra time that day yes which yeah. i gotta tell you helped yeah okay good and now let's go to system part three <laughs> let's do it i think i want to i want to move uh hold on i i hit the wrong thing sorry I want to put this down, but I thought I could make it smaller. Yes, here we go. All right, good. Can you see me? Yeah, when you speak, okay. I can see you. So it, it's going to go back and forth on speaker view, like whoever's talking will, will show up. Okay, uh, great. All right, so we did the first two. Um, you're not sure that you're feeling any difference yet because you... I think you said that when you're working on yourself, sometimes the stuff really comes up. <laughs> yeah. It, I don't know if it's like, I don't know why it happens that way, but I notice that a lot when I do work. Okay. So, and that, there could be a belief system around that, you know, that this is, you have, True. To, you have to process in a certain way or whatever, but who knows right now we know we're working on the OCD and not giving into it and let, get, letting go of these beliefs that make you feel like if you if you don't do the urge that something bad would happen, that's pretty much what you feel, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's dig in. Uh, right side, left side, divine. Okay. Right side, forgiveness. So we're going to look at divine forgiveness right off the bat here. See what we find. Negative statements. Um, well, section two. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Number six, I am damned. I'm what? I'm damned. We don't want that. <laughs> Damn it. Get rid of that shit. Let's get rid of it. We got to find all of it first before we can take them out. But yeah, oh. let's get rid of that shit, just like you said. All right, so yeah. next negative program. Let's go back. Oh, let me get rid of this little window here. Back to the beginning. Okay, so is it left? And is it divine? Yeah, okay. Another one divine. 
left side, no right side, forgiveness, higher self, and success. So divine success. Negative statements. Uh, one, two, whoa, one, two. Look at that. I must be in the wrong area. Let's go back to the beginning. Okay, what are we looking for? Something to the right, no to the left. It's in divine. Okay, right side, no, left side. Faith, God, purpose. So did you see that? What happened? So I... I he said had, you were in the wrong spot? I was in the wrong spot. So I went to divine success. I probably mixed up my right and my left in my head. I don't know. It happens sometimes. So okay. I went to success and I'm like section one, section two, nothing. I'm like, oh, okay, let me go back. Where are we supposed to be? Oh, Divine purpose. Okay. Yeah. So I couldn't test it because I was in the wrong spot. <laughs> okay, got it. Got so it. your subconscious mind straightened me out. It's like, no, 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 no. Stop. Hold on, lady. You're in the wrong spot. All right. You got straightened out. Yep. I love it. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the negative statements. Section one, two, section three. Okay, so now we're in the right spot. That's kind of fun. Is it odd or even? Two, four, six, eight. 10, no, so six, life has no purpose. Hmm. Life has no purpose. I'm damned. Even though you know what your purpose is and you're living it, we want to get rid of that energy that could be under there that it would be like pulling at it, right? Opposed to it. Yeah, what's that all about? Like, I, I never even, wow, okay. Well, let's see what the rest of the story has to say. Yeah, let's see what it unfolds, absolutely. Yeah. And I guess we could ask questions as to like where it came from. We don't really don't decode them, but hey, if we've got the question, we could ask. Absolutely. All right, so let's see. We're on the right. We're going to the left, left side, divine insight, communication, love. So now we're looking at love. All right. No left. Feelings, family, parents, self. Feelings, family, parents, self. Okay. Yeah. So we're in the self. is to do love with the self. Okay. Negative statements. Is it one, two, three? So section three, 10 of those odds. Uh, one, three, five, seven, nine, seven. Um, my heart is broken. Hmm. I mean, this could be stuff that came about when you were younger. Oh, um, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. Like, you know, maybe all of this, this third part of this was built when you were really young, you know, like not throughout different areas of your life. Well, let's see, is there another negative program? And there is. Let's find more, more to this story here. You know, last time I read your notes, I went back and read them. Yeah. I'm like, did I fall asleep through some of this? Because I, the last part of it, like the quarter of it, I couldn't fucking remember. Yeah, you actually were asleep. Okay. Yeah, there was, um, at one point I was asking you a question, you weren't answering. I'm like, okay, she's probably, you know, like just out with the energy. So fine, leave it. And then you kind of woke up and you, you, you said, I think I, I think I, I think I was out for a little bit. <laughs> I, yeah, well, you were. I guess I needed it. Yeah. Yeah. Or yeah, whatever. We just trust whatever, you know, sometimes you do go out and you're just with the energy. Right. All right so you also had a headache that day too. That's true. Yeah. Okay. So negative program. Uh, right side, left side, divine insight, communication. So we're in the love again. To the right, no, it's the left. Is it self? Yes. Okay, back to the same category. Uh, one, two, three, four. So we're in three, 10 of those. Is it odds, evens? Two, four, six, eight, 10. I don't deserve happiness. Now, there was something similar in one of the other ones, too, right? With happiness? Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Okay. So, and I think that might have been in each one of them. Well, we can look back and see. So, in the first one, uh, no plan. I'm not allowed to be happy, right? And so, the second one had, I don't deserve to feel good or be happy. Oh wow! So we're getting rid of this. We hit it and hit something with happiness in all three of them. All right. Wow. So now, are, did we get all the negative programs? Yeah. So are there limiting beliefs? We yeah. have. Okay. So let's see what we get here. Uh, right side, power. Okay. 
right again. Change, effort, growth, strength. So we're at power and strength. Oops. Power, strength. Negatives. Okay, seven of them. So are we looking at the odd note even? Uh, two, four, six. That's weird. Okay, well, I'm going to go back again. I think I'm grounded. I'm going to have to reground again. Let's go back okay. to the beginning. <laughs> go back to the beginning. Because the second time, and this is early in the session. All right, are we looking at something on the right? Yes. And is it power? Okay, so we're in power. Uh, right, left, right side, left side. Ability, comparison, expectation, performance. All right, I'm going to have to do a grounding. Is there something on my side I'm doing? or No, it's probably just me not being totally grounded. Uh, let's just make sure we find where we're supposed to be first. Negative statement. Uh, one, two, section three. Okay, and there's eight of those, so is it odd? It's odd, even snow, odds. Uh, one, three, five, seven. I keep making the same mistake over and over again. That's what I'm, oh, that's what it means, you, you're saying? That's the, that's the belief there. That's the oh. belief that's coming up. <laughs> I, mean, I, I just made a mistake over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's did funny. You, did you have something like that the last time? There's bodyguard. Now let's go up here. Something about mistakes. Uh, no. Let me I just check. remember. Let me check here. Nope. 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 Okay. This is a new thing. So I keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Okay. Is there another limiting belief? But before I do that, let me just do a grounding. I'm just going to. And, you know, think of that mudra. It works for me. I just hold the, my hands like that and just. Okay. No problem. Take your time. <sighs> Scram myself deep into the earth and bring myself fully aware, fully alert in the present moment. Totally focused on the work that I'm doing. Okay, good. All right. Something was, you know, not focused yeah. in. Okay. So let's find another limiting belief. Uh, right side, left side, divine. Okay. To the right. Forgiveness. So we have divine forgiveness. Negative statements. Is it section one? Nope, oh, section two. Seven of them. Is it odds? Okay. Is it one, three, five? Seven, no, five. They don't deserve to be forgiven. That's come up in sessions over the past week. For some people, uh, I don't know if you had that one. Does it sound familiar? No. Okay. So they don't deserve to be forgiven. All right. Is there another limiting belief? No, there isn't another limiting belief. So we have all the no. limiting beliefs for this system. Yeah. Okay. okay. But is there a faulty core belief? Yes. All right. What do we have in that area? Okay. This time to the right. No, it's on the left. Divine insight. And right, left, body. Effect, illness, pain, insight, and pain. All right, negatives. Uh, one, section two, six of those. Is it one, two, three, four, five, six? So it's five. The, this pain is too much for me. Okay. Right. Is there a faulty core identity? All right. So it, this started between birth and seven. Okay. Right. The faulty core identity, that's that soil level. You know what the whole tree analogy? Um, and I might as well say, in case I do post this video, they look at the tree like the branches and the leaves are negative programs. It goes into the trunk, which is limiting beliefs, into the roots, faulty core belief, and sometimes into the soil is a faulty core identity and those you pick up somehow you hold them or you receive them in some way you make this conclusion um between birth and age seven you know when we're just sponges at that point right so what it's like it's too much it's saying it's like i'm saying it's too much the, uh, well for the faulty core belief this pain is too much for me like whatever this upset is it's too much oh i got you I got yeah. you. And that, you know, the faulty core identity we didn't find yet, but which will be from like birth to seven. But yeah. then the faulty core belief came on after that at some point, probably quite young. Like these could all be 
from when you were really young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can almost guarantee it, but go ahead. Well, yeah, if anybody who who's seen your story knows your your story, you can see where some of this could have built, been built out of all of that. Yeah. 100%. And if you want to see Rita's story because it's really fascinating, I'm going to put a <laughs> link. Um maybe you'll tell me which thing you would like to drive people to. I know there's that one somewhat recent video with you on the stool. Who did that that interview? Oh, that's the uh soft white underbelly. Yeah, that was a good one. Because I know your Thanks. story, but when I watched the whole thing through, even though I knew the story anyway, it, it right. just made me interested. Okay, so faulty core identity, where is it? Is it here to the right? No, on the left, uh, divine. Okay, right side, left, no, it's right. Forgiveness, higher self, success, so divine and success. All right, this is from really young, negative statements, section two. 11 of them. All right. So are we looking at odd? No, evens. Is it two, four, six, eight, ten? I can't choose my own destiny. Mm. There you have it. There you have it. All right. So, so we read this from the bottom up. I can't choose my own destiny. The pain is too much for me. They don't deserve to be forgiven. I keep making the same mistake over and over again. I don't deserve happiness. My heart is broken. Life has no purpose. I am damned. All right. That's is a there... lot for a kid to think. My own. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, what is time, right? So we don't really know right. if there's a, a, an actual order to this. Like maybe right. some of these, and you know, like how did they all come together? I don't think we can really determine that unless we like decode everyone and see what age you were. No, uh, I understand that. I get yeah. it. But did you want to find see if you could find out information? Which one was it? The life has no purpose. Was that the one? Uh, I don't deserve happiness. I forget. Yeah. Now, now I'm, I'm shot. Um, <laughs> That's right. Well, looking at them, is there one you'd like to? You like? You like what? Let me. You want to know more about? So, there's one up there that says they don't deserve to be forgiven. Yeah. Yeah. That. Like, I've done a lot of forgiveness, so I'm wondering where that's coming from, I think. All right, so let me just ask. Can we decode and find information about this? Yeah. So let's find an age to where this was put there, right? So I forget your age. My age? Yeah. I'm 57. Okay. So did this occur between the ages of um, 1 and 20? Oh, okay. 1 and 20 early. 1 and 10? No. 10 and 20. Uh, 10 and 15, 15 and 20, age 15, 16, age 17. Can you put yourself back to age 17? Were you, were you living in New Jersey then or still in New York? No, I was in Jersey. Okay. Yeah. So that's so like, don't... that could okay. be senior year high school, you know, or, and, yeah. and then it would be like age 16, 17 or 18. So I can ask some questions unless something comes to your mind. Well, I mean, at that time, maybe I would have said, these fuckers, they're making me crazy. And, but I, I'm, but th you're saying that that's like now, right? Like I'm not able to forgive it now. No, they don't no, no. This it? is just, no. this is just a limiting belief that's stuck in your subconscious. And we just discovered that it, you, you made this conclusion or held this belief at age, started at age seven, 17. Oh, then, then, then I don't need to know. Go ahead. Okay. So I thought whatever it was, was that I still on. have it. Well, you do still have it until we pull it out. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, it's not conscious. It's not conscious. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because none of so this that I can understand the age I get because I was full blown like, you know, I was I was rebel rebelling at that time. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. that yeah right. So they don't deserve forgiveness because. You, you're they rebelling against up. all the stuff happening to you, around you, with you, whatever, right? Right. Okay. Uh, all right. So then we don't really need to dive in. But that's, see, all the beliefs we're going to pull up are unconscious. They're just energy stuck in there that we 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 need to uncover at some point. And right. so even though we've done a lot of work, because I'll find things, like I'll have the, a lot of these partial belief systems because I've done so much belief clearing. 
But yeah. there's still these stragglers out there and like, oh my God, right. I thought I worked on that, right? Exactly. <laughs> Do we ever get rid of it? I guess we just keep digging them up, right? Yeah, when that's that's a that's a good question. Like, are they ever? Do, do we ever like? Are they ever gone? Like, what's the deal with that? You know. But I guess it's I guess it's very individual. But let's I, I let, I'm gonna ask your subconscious mind, right? Because that's yeah. what I'm hooked into right now. Right. Is um, is it possible for you to get rid of all of these negative beliefs that have been stuck somewhere within you that you're not even aware of? Is it possible? Yeah, it's possible. Sure. Yeah, I would imagine anything um, is possible. Anything's possible, yeah. and the thing is, it's the stuff that comes up that triggers us that is, allows us to go and and figure out what they are, right? Because we're tracking the energy that's attached to that thing, right? So that same belief could come up again with something totally different, just like when we oh, take, a, you know, when we take I out see. the um, trapped emotions, you can have a trapped emotion of fear that you trapped. In like 20 different fearful times in your life. Got it. Attached to a different incident, right? It's all a unique energy frequency that was built out of whatever the experience was. Yeah. So right. it feels like, you know. Okay. I now, I that, now I yeah, understand. Now I understand. I think the only thing that sticks with us is the stuff that will bring things up. So when we're, when we're having some difficulty, and we know this, you teach this too, like, this is meant to teach us something, whatever this thing is that we're experiencing. Well, right. maybe part of that purpose is, since we know about energy now, to call up the energies that are in your way. Like I find that I'll have something physical happen. Lately, what I find is I'll have some random physical thing pop up because there's some energy I need to, to release. And the only way I'm paying attention to myself is if I have pain. Oh, I see. Okay. I understand. Yeah, I had this random, I couldn't walk one day out of nowhere. I'm like, all right, I guess I better do some body code. <laughs> right, right. I did the body code. It was totally gone the next day. I'm like, but I couldn't walk yesterday. What was that all yeah. about? I right. know now from doing this for a while, it was about me releasing some other energy that I'm not paying attention to. So my subconscious mind is like, all right, if we if she can't walk, she's going to have to pay attention to it. Absolutely. I mean, that's yeah. usually what happens, right? Yeah. So that's just yeah. a, and I think that happened for me to be able to use that that example for, with people because it came just as fast as it went once I released it. Yeah. I mean, it went as fast as it came once I released it. Just I know up. what you meant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so now, um, are there associations we need to release here? Yeah. So let's find all the associations. Then we'll pull these beliefs out and see if we have to replace any. Okay. Okay, so associations. Let's go back. Uh, let's. Are there trapped emotions? There's usually trapped emotions. Like almost, I've never had there not be any trapped emotions. So oh, let's okay. find these things. Uh, first trapped emotion uh, is it in A or B? Okay, so we have B. Is it on even two, four, six? B six conflict, creative insecurity. All right. Hmm. I like getting rid of that one, right? Definitely. And we can go on and, and you know, be that create, creative. That's what we are. We're creative energy, aren't we? Yep. So um, is there anything we need to understand? No, decode around it? No. So we can just release the creative insecurity. Oops, my, my magnet fell down. Hold on a second. There it is. Okay. All right, so we're going to three swipe it out. Let's go. One. Two, okay, three, letting go of that creative insecurity. Thank you, God. All right, good, we released it. All right, next, uh, something else. All right, is it A, B, um, odds, not evens, two, B, two. Okay, we have failure, helplessness, hopelessness, trapped emotion, hopelessness. And if we need to know what it what it's all about, we're going to have to figure it out. Okay. But a lot of times, I think a lot of times you don't need to know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, you know, especially the people who've been doing this work for a while, like you, right? Me. Mm -hmm. um, I find that if I work with someone really new to this, I have to do a lot more decoding because maybe their subconscious mind has to understand that this process, this energy came from somewhere. Anyway, do we need to know where hopelessness came from? No, we don't need anything we need to know. Yep. Nope. So let's release it. Okay. 
one, oh, two, yeah, feels good. Three, <sighs> got it, very good. All right, another trapped, yep. Uh, A, B, so is it odds? No, nope. it's evens, two, four, six, B, six. Pride, shame, shock, unworthy. Now we have some unworthy. Mm -hmm. No, I don't really need my glasses for this chart. Unworthy. All right, so anything we need to understand, no, and decode around this one? No. All right, so um, we can just release it. Yeah. All right, let's do it. One. Okay. Two. Three. <clears throat> no. All right. Very good. Thank you. Got it. Let's add a whole bunch of extra light just for fun. Okay. Yeah. So release. Love to add light. Whenever we can add light, let's add light. Let's do it. Listen, anybody can walk around and add light. Just ask God. Just just pour pour that beautiful love in me. That's right. right. Something more. Uh, another trapped emotion. Yeah. Because we'll probably wind up in the body code after we get all the trapped emotions. But sometimes you don't. All right, so we have a trapped emotion. Is it A? It's B. So is it on? It's even two, four, B6. Okay, pride, shame, shock. So this time we have some shock. We need deep, ooh, we need details on this one. A little bit of shock. Ooh. So I can test anything that pops in your head or we can find an age. Shock. Let's find an age. Okay, so did this come in between the age of one and 20? Yeah, one in 10. No, one in, uh, sorry, 10 and 15. Yeah, 15, 20, 10 and 15, 10, 11, 12. So it could be 11, 12, 13, but we have age 12. Hmm. What goes on at age 12? Um, so are we like uh, age 12? 10 is usually Eight. fifth grade. So it's like seventh grade, maybe. Yeah. So it's middle school. Yeah, so the only thing I remember at age 11, I had pneumonia. My aunt passed away. Um, other than that, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm ha not having a memory. Okay. Of it. So, so let's ask first, is this shock that happened, was it something physical that happened with you? Something physical? No. Okay. So um, did it have to do with someone, a family member of some sort? Okay. Did it have to do with your aunt's passing? Was that shocking to you? Um, I, honestly, I don't remember. I just know that I was in the hospital. And I, I, part of me, I think, was left like I, I think like my mother, like nobody was there at one point. Like I was young. Okay. That age to be in the hospital and not have your mom there. That I don't know. That might have been it. Okay. So it was was the shock because we had said it had something to do with family, right? Yeah. Yeah. So is the shock the experience of being in the hospital and not having anyone there with you, not having your mom there with you, like being alone? Uh, okay. Did it have to do with your aunt's passing? No. Okay. So it's more to do with your time in the hospital and feeling neglected. Yeah, or some shock that why isn't mom here? Who knows? Whatever. So somehow the, ener the trapped energy, the frequency of shock, it had to do with um, uh, we'll just say mom not there while in the hospital. Okay. Okay. All right. So is that what this is all about? Yeah. Is there something more we need to know about that? No. And is there something else associated to that? No. So that's what this is. Okay. So let's let's release it. Okay. One. Oh, I got goosebumps going already. Two. Oh, nice. And three. Whoa. Oh, all right. That felt good. Did you feel it? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> Definitely had to get rid of that one. I still feel like the goosey's kind of like road, you know, like moving around here. Okay, is there something else? Yeah. Is there another trapped emotion? Yeah. All right, let's find that one. All right, this time, A, okay, is it odds, evens, two, four, six, A6, humiliation, jealousy, longing, okay. Hmm. 
So do we need, I got goosebumps on it too. Do we need to know yeah. anything about that? No. Uh, is the, is it related to you? I mean, it could have been longing for your mom to be there for you. Is, is it related to this last thing we were talking about? It is. Maybe that's why the goosebumps are still going. Maybe. Is, is this longing energy, have, is it related to this whole experience we just were working with the shock? Yeah. Uh, were you longing for someone to comfort you, to be with you when you were going through yeah, that Yeah, I mean, I, I remember, like, one night, like, I was you know, trying to get stuff up because I had a lot of uh, mucus. Mm -hmm. And I remember, um, you know, like throwing up, like getting to the bathroom and throwing up. And my mother wasn't there. And the nurse came in and she was yelling at me. And, you know, I really felt shitty. Like, where the fuck is everyone, you know? Yeah. Like I, I think I felt abandoned. Okay. So Quite you honest. may have... You may have trapped the abandonment or you may not have in it. And, but we know we've got the shock at that time and we've got longing. You know, yeah. Know, yeah. All right. Well, boy, I, I'm telling you, these goosebumps are not moving. Not, they're still going from the last one. So, okay. So yeah. Anything else, we need to know about, anything else we need to know about this in particular? No. So we can release it. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. One. Oh, yeah. That feels good. Two. Woo. And three. All right, so that's released. Yeah. Um, now, I mean, I always feel stuff when we're doing this, but if, if with all that we've done, this those two seem like the most. I felt the most on those two. Yeah. From everything we did. All right. All right. No, I don't need my glasses anymore. All right. So, is there another trapped emotion? No. Those two blew out the trapped emotions. The the end of the trapped emotions. Um, really? Is there okay. another association? But there's another association. So we're going to go into the body code to find that one. Oh, okay. Find it in the body code. Yeah. So it's trapped it, in my body. It's that, another form of energy. Yep. It's most likely going to be in that energy area, but you never know. Okay. So there's still some energy connected to it. Who knows? It could okay. be in the body. Maybe it's something to do with you in the hospital. You know, we don't really know until we uncover it. But Understood. for sure, are we done with trapped emotions? Okay. So now we're in the body code yet. All right. Now, uh, right side, left side, energy. Okay. Uh, on the right. No, it's on the left. Post-traumatic. Okay. Interesting. Uh, right side, left side. Uh, physical trauma, physical emotional shock. Again. We can ask the obvious if it had to do with that time, right? Why don't we just... Do, oh, yeah, do we yeah, need to know anything? That. So look, we don't need to know anything. We, need, we don't need to know anything, but let's just ask. Is this okay. physical emotional shock also connected to this experience in the hospital? Yes. Oh. All right. Uh, that was a big one. I'm going to say same experience in hospital. Yep. All right. Cool. Anything else we need to know? No. Uh, something associated with it? No. All right. So we're just going to... Let's just eliminate that physical emotional shock. Okay. One. Oh, yeah. Two. <laughs> three. Woo. Yeah. All right. Good. This is cool. Oh. All right. So that's released. Yep. That one felt really strong as well. Okay. Now, is there something else? No. <clears throat> So we got to the end of these three belief systems and, but what seems like these three things had the, like the biggest release that I felt anyway. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Even though feeling released the whole time, but something about those three, they were like connected. It's like, it didn't stop and wait for the next thing. It just kept going. Right. So that's nice. All right. So we got all the associations. Yeah. All right. So now we can go and pull these beliefs, but let me just ask. Is there anything else I need to know about this system as a whole, this system three? Anything else we need to know? No. Anything else we need to ask or know about with any of these individual beliefs? No. Okay. So we can just pull the beliefs. Okay. So right now, you know, if we ask, is it true for you? I am damned. Yes. Life has no purpose. Yes. So they'll, they'll all be strong, but we're going to pull them out and then we'll try it again and <laughs> probably just collapse. All right. Okay. So, and I'm just going to keep going. So we're just asking that these beliefs, 
one by one are pulled from your system. We want to pull out, I am damned. Just release it, get rid of it, let it go. Send it to the light, give it to God. <sighs> Free yourself, delete it. Okay, good, thank you. And now life has no purpose. Pulling that one, releasing it, letting it go, sending it to the light. Okay, my heart is broken. Oh, yes, pull that out. Ooh, I feel a lot of movement there. Letting that go, sending it to the light, giving it to God. I don't deserve happiness. Pulling it. Bring it up, letting it go. Old story. Deleting it, sending it to the light. <clears throat> okay, good. Um, I keep making the same mistake over and over again. Let's pull that one out. Give it to God, let it go. Okay, good. Um, they don't deserve to be forgiven. All right, we're going to pull that. Release it from your whole entire system. Send it to the light, letting it go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Okay, and now uh, the pain is too much for me. Pulling it. Sending it to the light. Releasing it from you, from all of you. Just getting rid of it. Thank you. Okay, good. And now uh, I can't choose my own destiny. Yep, sending it out there to the light, dissolving it in that beautiful light. It can no longer exist, just giving it to God, letting it go. All right, good. Thank you. And just adding a whole bunch of love after taking all of that energy out. All right, thank you, God. All right, how's that feeling? Ooh, <laughs> love it. Love it. All right, so let's see if we need to do any replacements. Let okay. me put these back on. Okay, so do we need to replace any of the, any beliefs within the system? Yeah, okay, so do, do we need to replace any of the negative programs? No. Do we need to replace any of the limiting beliefs? No. Do we need to replace the faulty core belief? Yes, this pain is too much for me. So let's do that. And maybe we have to do the next one, but we'll find out. Uh, I was going to replace with. All right, so back to the belief code. So we're replacing this pain is too much for me. Where will we find the perfect replacement for this? Somewhere to the right, not to the left, and in the divine area. Yeah. Uh, here on the right, right side, no, left side, yes. Faith, God, purpose. Okay, so we have divine purpose, positive statements. Is it section one, two, three? Okay, 10 of them. Um, is it odds? It's evens. Two, four, six, eight, 10, eight. I have a purpose in life. Okay. Oh. Because earlier, it was life has no purpose. All right. Okay. So we're doing I have a purpose in life. And I'm going to download that. But first, I'm going to see if we need to do um, this one. So do we also need to replace I can't choose my own destiny? Yeah, we do. All right. Good. So we'll do them together. Okay, where are we going to find that one? Uh, get rid of this. Well, actually, let's do this first. Make that bold. Get rid of this little thing. Here we go. Belief code. Okay. So where's the replacement for I can't choose my own destiny? Uh, to the right. No, it's in the left and it's in divine. Mm. Right? Left. Faith. Divine faith. Okay. Okay, let's find the goodies and divine faith. Positive statements. One, section two. Six of those. Is it number one, two, three, four, five, six, four? I nurture my faith with care. All right, so I have a purpose in life and I nurture my faith with care. Okay, this is what we have, both of these. So let's download them, All right? So we're just downloading. Oh, we're going to download each of these. 
taking them in to every cell of your body, right? We're just downloading the first one. I have a purpose in life, really holding it, bringing it in, soaking it into every single cell of your body, every single piece of your energy field, like everywhere and in all aspects of you, downloading. I have a purpose in life and taking that in throughout all timelines, all time, space, realities, all dimensions, all planes of existence, just really soaking it in, owning it, walking through your day-to-day, knowing this and holding this and living this. All right, good. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Thank you. And now let's also download, I nurture my faith with care. Taking that one in. Yeah, you know what? Uh, What's popping in for some reason is like this faith that you can totally overcome this OCD thing, right? Like you're nurturing your faith with care, your faith in yourself to not only overcome the OCD, but with anything that comes your way. Like you're just really holding this, this faith within yourself. So we want to nurture your faith, your faith in God and all that too. But for some reason, this is just coming down to me like that. Um, So in whatever way this is meant for you, we want to hold this, download it through every single cell, all aspects of you, throughout all time, space, realities, all planes of existence, all dimensions, all timelines, just really holding this and living this. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. (laughs) All right. That feels good. So I didn't do this before. I'm not going to do it now. Let's just ask if these things, whether they're true or not for you, right? So okay. um, are these statements, following statements, true for you? I am damned. No. Okay. Life has no purpose. My heart is broken. I don't deserve happiness. I keep making the same mistakes over and over again. No. Uh, they don't deserve to be forgiven. No. The pain is too much for me. No. I have a purpose in life. Yeah. Uh, I can't choose my, I can't choose my own destiny. Nope. And I nurture my faith with care. Yeah. Okay, good. So you know what? Let's just do that whole visual with the bookshelves because I like it. It's just nice to sit in that energy. So just imagine, right? You're looking at this beautiful bookshelf. Imagine it any way you want to, right? And there's all these books there. They're really all these different beliefs. They're all on the shelf there. Good ones. And we are now found a few bad ones in there. So we we pull these beliefs that aren't serving you. Maybe they didn't at some point, but they're not serving you now. So we're pulling these beliefs out, right? We already did that. And now the shelf is like all like, you know, it's got gaps. Books have fallen over. It's a little disheveled. So we're just straightening it all up, polishing it up, dusting it off. Just make everything look like really beautiful and opening up space where all those gaps where we pulled out that stuff. Right? We know we already put in two beautiful new beliefs, and we're just leaving space for so much more goodness to come in. Right, Just holding this area, holding this space for all the good that wants to come to you, just really having this welcoming space for it to just drop right in. All right, good. Thank you, God. Thanks for that. All right. Wow. That feels good. I got this nice buzzy feeling about me. How are you feeling? Feel good. You know what? Let me let me get rid of the screen share. So, all right, Rita. Well, we did all three parts of this parallel belief system. Okay. Um, and I mean, it, there can only be good that comes from it. So I just, I right. really, you know, we're really asking God to let that show up in your life and for you not to have to go through whatever to get there, right? Let's just... Let's just pull it in there. <laughs> Done. Done. Yeah. All right. So when should I check back with you? Um, whenever you feel like it, right? Let's sit with this. Uh, maybe in another. Well, let's wait a week. See how you're doing, right? Week, okay. Two weeks. Unless you have something else you want to work on it. But I think for this issue, the whole thing with the OCD, I think, well, let's ask some questions. Remember, we're going to ask some questions, right? Yes. So with, with pulling out the belief systems that we did today. Have we released, have we uncovered and released these energies that were contributing to that or triggering that? Okay, so we so we did that. I hate to ask this, but I'm going to ask it. Are there more energies that are standing in the way of you being free of this 
whole thing with the OCD. Okay, I'm getting a no. All oh, right. But okay. it doesn't mean we can't ask that question or ask it in a different way at another time. Got um, it. It's good to is know. There anything, is there anything blocking you from, after having gotten rid of this, right? So it's not in your way. Is there anything else that could be blocking you from being free of this OCD stuff that goes on? No, I'm getting a no. So let's see what happens, right? Let it do its thing. And instead of, you know, the whole thing with like law of attraction, right? You keep looking at what isn't there, you keep it there. So it's right. just like, like throw, you know, we, we cleared that bookshelf, right? Right. They're all gone. It's just living life. Exactly. You know, if it shows up, you're like, oh, you know, ah. Oh. You again, you you don't belong here anymore. Like whatever, okay. right? Fine. Or, 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 you know, what would be fun. I, I don't know where the message is coming from. If you can make some kind of, and you're, you're, you're comical, right? You like to do right. comedy stuff. Make some comical statement up that if for some reason that shows up, you say this, it makes you laugh and you're like, goodbye. Okay. That I, I think, can do. I think that, I think that's why I got that because you can do that. Yeah. I like that. Totally. That's and that's like stepping into your power rather than going down the, 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 hole. the habit maybe of the giving mm -hmm. in to this other stuff that isn't even you. It's not you. Okay. Yeah. Got it. All right. Something that's awesome. Yeah. So keep me updated with that. And um, well, we can always do more, but I don't know. This feels good to me. So let's just see where, where what happens. I'll touch base in a week. Okay, good. All right. Thanks, and Sunday. to everybody watching, bye, everybody. And Rita, um, you know, tell us your um, Instagram, because you do a lot of posting. I, lately, you're doing a lot on Instagram, right? A lot of these little tips and things. Yeah. So, um, God help me, Instagram. Uh, you know what? That's okay. I'll, I'll put links below, right? If you can't yeah, remember. Yeah. But um, just search Rita Giganti. Uh, uh, you can put the Godfather's daughter right and yeah, in the search, yeah, you you're going to come yeah. up with everything about about rita and her story and uh yeah it's pretty amazing rita giganti psychic that's what it is okay but yeah that's how they can get me okay and then your your youtube is the same thing uh yes yeah. almost positive i have to I'm you know what? Stuff. You but you put in Rita Giganti, you're gonna get like pages worth of stuff. So you know. yes, yes. Yeah. So if they put my name in, it's it comes up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. And they can always book sessions with you and have you tap into those parts that they can't reach for themselves. So absolutely. Thank you absolutely. for that. Absolutely. All right. I'll see All you. Right, honey. All right. Bye bye. Take care. Babe.